Our first soft chalk lesson in Unit 1, Lecture 4 is a very short one that introduces the bacterial cytoplasm. Looking at our fundamental statements, in bacteria, the cytoplasm refers to anything enclosed by the cytoplasmic membrane. The liquid portion of the cytoplasm is called the cytosol. The cytoplasm is the site of most bacterial metabolism. During catabolic reactions, larger molecules are broken down to obtain cellular building block molecules and energy. During anabolic reactions, cellular molecules are synthesized. And let's take a look at the few objectives that we have on the cytoplasm, the detailed learning objectives. You should be able to define exoenzyme, endoenzyme, and cytosol, state the primary function of the bacterial cytoplasm, and finally define metabolism, catabolic reactions, and anabolic reactions. So in bacteria, in terms of composition, the cytoplasm refers to everything enclosed by the cytoplasmic membrane, and about 80% of the cytoplasm in bacteria is water. Now within the cytoplasm can be found a number of things, including nucleic acids, the bacterial chromosome or DNA, uh, as well as RNA, enzymes, amino acids, carbohydrates, lipids, inorganic ions, other low molecular weight compounds. And the liquid component of the cytoplasm is called the cytosol. Some bacteria can also produce cytoplasmic inclusions uh, that help them to carry out specialized cellular functions. So in terms of functions, uh, a couple definitions first of all. Uh, bacteria can secrete exoenzymes to hydrolyze macromolecules outside of the cell into smaller molecules that can then be transported across the cytoplasmic membrane. So an exoenzyme is one that functions outside of the cell and it breaks down larger nutrients into smaller nutrients which can then be small enough to be transported across the cytoplasmic membrane. But the site of most metabolism in bacteria uh, is in the cytoplasm. And that, as we'll see in a minute, is carried out by endoenzymes, enzymes that function inside the cell. So a couple of definitions here. Metabolism refers to all the organized chemical reactions in an organism or a cell. And this includes chemical reactions where substances are broken down, which we call catabolism, and reactions where substances are synthesized called anabolism. So in catabolic reactions or catabolism, molecules are broken down, and this is done in order to obtain building block molecules to make more complex cellular molecules and macromolecules. Whereas anabolic reactions or anabolism is used to synthesize cellular molecules and macromolecules. So catabolic reactions are breakdown chemical reactions and anabolic reactions are uh, synthesis chemical reactions. There's also some structural filaments found in the cytoplasm that makes up the prokaryotic cytoskeleton. And these are kind of analogs of the cytoskeleton protein found in eukaryotic cells. Uh, there are uh, tubular structures similar to tubulin, but there's also cytoskeletal proteins that aren't found in eukaryotic cells. And these cytoskeletal filaments play a big role in determining the shape of the bacterium, whether it becomes a coccus or a bacillus or a spiral. It's also critical in the process of cell division by binary fission. And there's a quick little self quiz you can do to uh, test yourself on the definitions in the cytoplasm. 